Okay, here's the next video. Um, this, again, uh, this video is about using the PRC-138. You'll notice this, in this video I decided to turn on the flash. Uh, I've got to get a little more experience in making videos, shooting them, to find out really what, what works best. I looked at, the, looked at the last one I made, and it kind of looked crummy, but uh, I didn't feel like remaking it. So in this test, what we're going to do is, again, we're going to be using the, the PRC-138, uh, which is the Falcon 1 Series HF radio that could be used as a man pack or a vehicular installation. Now, it is sitting on top of this amp, but the amp is not used at all. In fact, you'll see uh, all the connect none of the connectors are actually connected up. This is just using it because I was too lazy to take it off the amp. And instead, it's all connected up to the Harris RF5034 400 watt power amp. And uh, so what we've got here, we've got power uh, with this little amp here, little uh, power supply. This, con this is the control cable that connects into the, uh, the RT here. And then we've got the antenna coupler, which again goes over to my trusty RF382A, with a little dummy, watt, uh, a dummy load watt meter on top. And then finally, you've got uh, low power RF in which comes out of the RT here. And then uh, high power RF out, which that goes to the, uh, the antenna coupler. Now, so uh, this amp uh, I bought knowing it had some faults, but <clears throat> as it ends up, I can't seem to make it reproduce the faults. So uh, that's good. Typically what goes wrong with these are there are some relays uh, that switch in and out uh, band pass filters depending on what channel, I'm sorry, what band you're using. And uh, sometimes those stick or don't function properly and you get a fault. But actually this one seems to be working today. Okay, tomorrow, who knows? Uh, one other thing I'll point out is that this amp uh, requires two power supplies, even though you only see one, one here. It requires two because it needs a lot of current to create a 400 watt signal. But today for the purposes of testing, uh, I'm just using this one power supply, and so we won't get full power out. And I might blow a circuit breaker, uh, uh, one of you know this here circuit breaker. I uh, will see. Uh, I don't think so, but but I certainly will not get full power out. I don't think for any length of time. All right, so let's power everything up and see what we've got. Okay, now you may or may not hear the ant make some noise once I uh, once I turn on the radio here. Let's take a listen. All right, there's definitely some clicking going on. All right, so uh, yeah, this maybe this is more readable with the flash. I think it is. All right, so again, we're, let's go over to test mode. And let's just do a full system test this time. And uh, I think I'm going to put the, the camera on the coupler so maybe you can hear the clicking. Not the coupler, the amp. Let's see. Uh, you know what, that's kind of boring looking. Again, these take a long time. And maybe you've heard that. But there it is, self-test done, no errors. So this coupler appears to be working. Now let's do an actual uh, little visuar test. Some of these frequencies, it's already run, so it probably has them memorized. Um, so let's we'll we'll do this frequency, and we'll take a look at our watt meter. Okay, and what you'll see here is 1.4 to 1, 279 watts. I'd say that's pretty darn good, considering a few things. Number one, this watt meter, this dummy load is only really rated for 150 watts. Although I am running the power for a very, very short amount of time, and I let it cool uh, quite a bit between tests. But the real key is uh, we only have one power supply, and uh, this thing really does require two for full output, uh, and I don't, I'm don't, i not even sure using one is, is really suggested uh, even for reduced output. But I'd say with one power supply to get uh, 280 watts out uh, of a, a, is, is pretty darn good. So let's... Uh, Let's just do another one. Let's see what we can do here. Let's pick, uh, I don't know, uh
Looks like my camera crashed. So let's try, I don't know, 12 megahertz uh, and let's see what we get. I'm gonna have to piece these videos together. All right. All right, yeah, 12 megahertz. Uh, we've got uh, 223 watts out. Not bad. Uh, we're gonna try, let's try two megahertz just to see what happens. A lower frequency. One point zero to one, two hundred seventy three watts. So this is really quite fantastic, and uh, I will likely put this amp into uh, one, uh, to a, a vehicle I'm working on. Uh, and the next thing I might test, I don't know if I'll do it tonight, but uh, is to test a fifty R fifty eight hundred, the Falcon two series, uh, with this amp. It is supposed to work, but I have to change the. Uh, the EEPROM in it with some uh, different version of the EEPROM, which I do have. But uh, that, so that may be for an, another date. So uh, there you have it. This is, again is using <clears throat> using the uh, PRC138 along with a 400 watt coupler. Hope you enjoy the video.